Hi, good morning, good morning class, or good afternoon. So we are starting 1.6. Uh, you saw a video before. Uh, you saw our essential question, and you actually answered the distance uh, in scientific notation from Earth to Pluto. So now we're going to go ahead and start our notes. Now, you don't have 1.6, right? You don't have the 1.6 paper. Uh, I didn't ask you to come to school and get it. Uh, we're not doing that anymore. You're actually going to make your own notes. So if you have a notebook, go ahead and get it out. Okay, take out your notebook. Okay. Uh, or if you just have regular paper, go ahead and take out regular paper and you're going to start from here. Okay, make sure you put a line on this side like this and then your line up there. Okay, so this is how we're going to start. Okay, I'm going to guide you on how to do these notes. So put your name, period, and date up on the top. Name, period, and date. Okay. And so it's 1.6 scientific notation. Okay. So this is our essential question. Essential question. How do you convert numbers written in scientific notation to standard form? Essential question. How do you convert numbers written in scientific notation to standard form? So we have them written in scientific notation, right? How do we do that? That's what we're going to do today. All right. So once again, this is your paper. Okay. So you're putting, you're writing this on the top. If you want to use a highlighter here, go ahead and highlight. So we're go going to go ahead and write the answer that we got, for example, one on a previous slide. Okay. On the slide, uh, a couple of slides back. The distance from Earth to Pluto in scientific notation. So what was it? We got it already, right? So it is. 4.67 times 10 to the ninth miles. That was based on space.com, right? Okay. So that's in scientific notation. We want it in standard form. So we got to convert this to standard form. That's example number two. All right, so let's go ahead and change it to standard form. So here it is. So step one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to write it again in scientific notation. So this, this is step one. So step one is write it in scientific notation. So we're going to go 4.67 times 10 to the ninth. Okay. Step two is you're actually going to write it again, but with, with the, you're going to take away the exponent. The exponent is not going to be there. So it's just going to be 4.67. Okay. Okay. That's step two. After you do that, then you look at the exponent. If the exponent is positive, then you're going to move to the right. If the exponent is negative, you're going to move to the left. So step three. So we're going to move the, move the, 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 the decimal. In this case, we're going to move the decimal to the right nine times. So we're going to go ahead and go 4.67. And we're going to draw little arches under there, little arcs. So here we go. Nine times this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There it is. So now we put zero, 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 zero. And now let's, let's rewrite it so it makes it a little, a little better. So we're going to have four six seven zero 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 one two three four five six seven that's it okay so now you put your commas so here it is miles we just converted we went from scientific notation to standard form here 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 all right. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and, you know, take a picture of all this and post it on the next slide. Okay. After this slide, post all of this. Take a picture of all of this and it's going to be on there. All right. And then let's get to the steps.